Hey lovelies, if massive lashes are what you seek, then stay tuned. If these lashes are a little too spidery for you, then that's okay. Uh, just don't use this technique. Um, but if you are seeking this look, just stay tuned and I will show you how to do it from start to finish. Okay, we're going to start with the first coat of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lashes. Uh, it's the collagen boosted version. So I'm just going to give myself a good coat. And if you have very fair lashes, it's very important for you to um, come down on the top and make sure that you get those. And if you get mas uh, mascara on your skin right now, don't worry too much because you can clean it up afterwards, it's no big deal. And make sure you get your, sorry, bottom ones. And same wiggle motion. I am making the universal mascara face. But thankfully it's close enough that you can't see. Okay, so that's a pretty decent first coat. Um, and I will get the next step, which is the baby powder. So you're going to want to shake a little bit of this into your hand, or not. That did not just happen. Okay, now I have some baby powder in my hand and I am simply going to coat the lashes top and bottom with the baby powder. Don't do too much or you will just get a sticky mess. Next I'm going to come in with my lash blast. The brush is a little bit better at separating and so I like to go on top with that. And you are going to want to come over the top first because you have that baby powder and you don't want that white showing through. If you aren't able to completely cover it, don't worry too much. Um, you can come in with say like a liquid liner and paint over the white spots uh, that remain, but just do give it a good effort and then you will go ahead and move on to the bottom. You want to brush through with a wiggle motion, try to break up those clumps. The baby powder will try to clump a little bit, it's kind of creating a paste, so you may have to add a little more mascara to kind of uh, make it more liquidy. You just brush and brush away. I like to brush when I'm on my outer half of the lashes toward my ear and when I'm doing the inner toward my nose. They don't end up separated like in a V or anything, but that does, uh, it's a good technique to get them spread out. And I really like how it looks when I'm done. Pretty close to done here. Make sure you get those bottom lashes that have baby powder. Give them the same wiggle motion. Wiggle it out and if you get some on your skin don't worry. And this should be your final effect.